Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about the combination therapy of drugs, especially about the combinatory antibiotic therapy. We have seen different antibiotics and their mode of action. We have also seen their uh, mechanism of resistance of the bacteria against those antibiotics. Now, uh, it, is, it was seen previously that uh, there are certain antibiotics when they are administered individually, independently, they lead to very uh, mild kind of effect. Uh, they are not that much effective. Now, when they are combined together, when uh, certain antibiotics are uh, provided with a combination of uh, two or three antibiotic as a combinatory dose, in those cases, those combination of antibiotics prove to be more effective than the individual type of antibiotic, right? So, here we are talking about, sorry, it should be M, combinatory, oh sorry, combinatory drug therapy. Especially here we, are, uh, we want to talk about antibiotics. It's a combinatory, here drug means antibiotics, right? Now what we are having, we are having uh, balance between two things. One is individual antibiotic. Another one is that combination of antibiotic. Another one is combination of antibiotic. And it was found that this combination of antibiotic is providing, or it's provided uh, to be very much more effective than this individual type of antibiotic. So this is greater in effectiveness. Effectiveness. Okay. That's why people start to use combinatory antibiotic therapy instead of a single antibiotic therapy. And there are certain infections. There are certain kind of symptoms inside body certain disease uh, symptoms or disease condition. In those cases, we have to take combination of antibiotic. Single kind of antibiotic treatment we won't resolve the problem. We must take this combination antibiotic to treat it. Right? Now, usually the combination antibiotic uh, treatment is very, very basic and simple. And that is, uh, say, let's say antibiotic 1 and combined with antibiotic 2. Right? Now, these two antibiotics, they, they can be of same class they can be of same class or they can be of different class. For example, uh, two beta-lactam antibiotics can be combined. For the example, let's say one beta-lactam with another beta-lactam. And different class means, let's say, beta-lactam with amino glycosides. This can be another combination. This is a different class of antibiotic combined with each other. So these are the examples of certain types. We will be seeing more as we will go on. Okay. Now, what is the important, another uh, very much important about this uh, combination uh, therapy is that mortality rate reduces dramatically. Right? Now, if we use, if we use general kind of, let's say, single antibiotic, some cases, in fact, most of the cases, the mortality rate can be higher. Now, when we use a combination of two or more antibiotics, usually two antibiotics are treated at, at a time. Now, those combinations try to, uh, it, is, it was found to reduce that mortality rate. That's very good, right? So, it reduces mortality rate. So, let me write. It reduces mortality rates. Okay. Reduces mortality rates. And... There is another two important terms I want to tell you and that is called uh, the appropriate therapy and inappropriate therapy. And in the appropriate kind of therapy, the mortality rate is less and in inappropriate type of therapy, the mortality rate is higher. For example, when we get less than 20% of this mortality rate or MR, we call it appropriate, appropriate therapy. Now, when we get uh, greater than 30% or 35% of mortality rate, we call it inappropriate kind of uh, therapy, right? Now, we use this kind of combination of antibiotic to reduce this mortality rate. So, we are making the journey from inappropriate to appropriate type of therapy, right? So, this kind of combinatory antibiotic therapy are found to provide us appropriate therapy against infections. That's our actual goal. 
right now this is the basic thing about what is combination therapy now when you use this combinatory drug remember in any kind of combination uh, we are talking about drug therapy but in any kind of combination there can be three different uh, possibilities of result that can occur what are those possibilities so let me talk about the three possibilities so let's say three possibilities now in this three possibilities what we are having one is that this antibiotic one and antibiotic two the combination of these two antibiotic itself results in the activity so let's say antibiotic one is providing so one one activity can be that that the, the activation or activity of uh, two antibiotic together can lead us to what we can say equal effect equal effect another thing can be there treatment of antibiotic one with antibiotic two so this combination of one and two of antibiotic with each other can lead to increased increased uh, kind of effect or third thing can be there these two antibiotic along with each other can provide us decreased mode of result so if we talk about result it can be equal increased or decreased in activity right now when we call it equal when you call it the equal kind of activity we call it as a uh, equal uh, I forgot the term but whatever in this case what we say for example antibiotic one is providing us let's say if we treat uh, with antibiotic one it is uh, providing the viable uh, viable number of uh, bacteria let's say viable number of bacteria remains 60 percent or 60 out of 100 now antibiotic 2 uh, remains 30 out of that so let's say here it provides 60 or say let's let's say let's talk about killing the bacteria so let's say antibiotic 1 they can kill 60 bacteria out of out of 100 now antibiotic 2 can kill 40 bacteria out of 100 right now if we combine them together what they can do is that they can kill they can kill let's say they can kill here in this case uh, uh, let's let's say for 30 bacteria 35 bacteria altogether right so 35 bacteria altogether right so what we talk here almost uh, so the effect of antibiotic 2 leads to some the effect of antibiotic 1 leads to some now if we combine the activity of both of them it will result in a figure which is almost equal to that of the individual addition of the activity of two antibiotics right that's why it is called as equal or identical okay and then second case which we can result in increased activity okay now for example antibiotic one let's say this one is having the maximum ability to kill uh, 30 uh, anti uh, 30 uh, microorganism out of 100 antibiotic 2 can kill let's say uh, 25 uh, and, uh, microorganisms so what if we get it here if we provide both of them together usual addition of these two things right addition of these two things like 30 and 20 so what they can kill they can kill almost 50 antibiotic uh, 50 microbes there right because it can kill 30 out of 100 it can kill 20 out of 100 so it's our theory which is suggesting us the by looking at it that if we provide both of them to kill those 100 it can kill 50 microorganism right but let's say in this case adding them together results in killing of 80 microorganisms out of 100 that means the number of activity or uh, killing of microorganisms if, if the activity is the killing or uh, number of microorganisms killed so the activity here is dramatically increased uh, it is greater than the individual addition of the activity of both the antibiotics try to understand in previous case what we've seen the activity that we're seeing here is a kind of equal to that of the activity of individual activity of both the antibiotics now in this case the activity after combination therapy is more than the individual activity of those antibiotics if they added together 
So individual is 30, 20, add together 50. But what we get when you combine them, 80. So it is more. So, so combination activity is more than, than, than individual sum of antibiotic activity. Sum of activity. That's if this is the case, what we get increased activity. Now in this case, we call it as synergism. This kind of phenomenon is called synergism. That means a very basic example. Let's say uh, if we are talking about eating, eating uh, candy. Or say you can eat uh, 20 candies, I can eat 30 candies. So if we together sit, we can eat 50 candies. But when we sit together, we uh, it's, it was seen that uh, due to any kind of influence, we eat 80 candies. So it is beyond our individual sum of eating this candy. It's simple as that in this case also. Now in third case, it can also result that, let's say the antibiotic one, uh, it can uh, kill 30 out of 30 uh, bacteria out of 100, antibiotic 2 can kill 20 bacteria out of 100. So again, if uh, the uh, if we think theoretic, theoretically that uh, if we provide this, those, those two antibiotics together, what they provide us, they can kill 50 microorganisms out of 100. But it is found now, they can kill only, they can kill only 15 microorganisms. That means, usually the effect must be 50. Theoretically, but now what we get 50, 15 only. So the combination therapy activity, so the activity of the combination therapy, so this one getting reduced than that of the individual sum of activity, right? That means that when we treat, when we use them together with each other, the combination activity decreased. Now, this kind of situation is called as antagonism. It is called as antagonism. Right? So, synergism, antagonism. These two things are very, very important. Synergism is uh, the total activity is increased. Now, uh, antagonism is the total activity is getting decreased. Right? So, if I draw graphs, it will be very much easier for you to understand. Now, uh, for that reason, I should have told you this name. I am telling you this name. Okay, so in this case, when we get both the antibiotics active together and it's kind of equal, so the combination of activity here is kind of equal with individual sum of individual sum of activity. Now, in this case, we call it additive additive activity or additive effect, right? In other case, we have synergism and antagonism. In synergism, it is increasing. In antagonism, it is decreasing. Okay. Now, if I draw the graph, let's say three graphs will be drawing here in this case. Let's say this one, another one, another one. Okay. These are the three graphs. Now, in first graph, what we are going to talk about is this uh, additive effect. Now, let's say, in all this graph, in this x axis, what we'll be providing time in hour, time in hour, and in y, uh, y axis, what we'll be providing. So let's draw. Okay, now in y axis, what will be so in all this case, time. So I'm just putting t here, just putting t. So it means time in hour. In y axis, we are talking about the number of viable microorganism right so in all this case we are talking about in x axis time in hour in y axis number of viable microorganism now remember what we mean by viable microorganism is that those number of microorganism can surely easily divide and grow and they can produce many more microorganism after time after a certain time okay now if we provide antibiotic here the number of viable microorganism must be decreased in some amount right so it's it's the basic goal Addition of antibiotic will lead to almost decrease or static growth of the number of viable. Some antibiotics are functioning as bacteriostatic. In those cases, what we get? A stabilization of the bacterial growth over time. Some are bactericidal. 
in those cases we will be seeing that the graph is going down like that because that is killing the number of microorganisms. So that's why the number of viable microorganisms will also decrease in case of those antibiotic treatments. Okay, so let's begin with this first case. So I'll be taking three colors for explaining that. So let's say antibiotic one. When we add antibiotic one, which is denoted here with this black. So let me talk. Let's say here there are three antibiotic. Antibiotic one, antibiotic two antibiotic 3. In antibiotic 1 I am denoting it with this black. Antibiotic not no 3. There are only 2 antibiotic. Antibiotic 2 is uh, denoted with let the, let's let's say this blue color and when you combine both the antibiotic 1 and 2 antibiotic 1 with antibiotic 2 it will be denoted with the red color. Let's say. So these are the three color code for that. Okay. So in this case when we add antibiotic 1 it is providing some effect. So from this, let's say from this point, it is providing the effect of bacteriostatic activity like that, antibiotic 1. Okay. So let's say when you put antibiotic 2, it reduces the kind of activity like that. Let's say this. Okay. Now when we add both the antibiotics together as a combination therapy, in that case what we see, that the graph is coming slightly like that. So this one is a combination. So red means a combination therapy drug. Both A1, uh, AB1 and AB2 in this case, third. Okay. So what it is telling us that, that when we use antibiotic 1 or antibiotic 2, it is providing some effect. Now when you provide both the antibiotics together, it is almost equal of the activity of the sum of individual antibiotics. Right. So it is providing or fulfilling this criteria is that uh, the activity when they are in combination therapy is kind of equal with the individual sum of their activity because the graph is that these two lines are coming very very near in this case because it usually reduces heat here this this antibiotic one reduces uh, is there so when you add both of them it reduces a kind of very close so this is fulfilling this criteria so this graph is showing us the effect of additive uh, effect okay so here we can say it is a Additive effect. Additive effect of antibiotic therapy. Combination antibiotic therapy. Let's talk about a second case. In the second case, let's say antibiotic 1. Now antibiotic 1 again from this part. Antibiotic 1 is providing this. Let's say antibiotic 2. Blue color. It is providing this. And when you use both the antibiotics together. Antibiotic 1 and 2. What it is providing? It is providing this. So what is telling us when we use only antibiotic 1 it is a it is a anti a bacteriostatic that's why it's a kind of uh, stabilizing the growth. When you use antibiotic B or antibiotic 2 it is a kind of lowing down the concentration of antibiotic uh, bacteria here but when you use both of them we can see dramatically it falls or it, it is killing the bacterial cells. So the number of viable bacteria cells remember in this y-axis the number of viable mi microorganisms is the number of viable microorganisms is going down. That means when we use both of them antibiotic altogether, it is dramatically reducing. Uh, that means it is killing rapidly those microorganisms. So the effect we are seeing here, the combination activation of uh, those combination activity of those antibiotic is increased, is greater than the individual sum of their activities. So that means its effect is an increased effect. It is called as synergistic effect or synergism between them. So it's it's synergism. Okay. Now the third kind of effect that we are going to talk about. Now in this case, the first, let's say if here, antibiotic 1 kind of stabilizes like that. Antibiotic 2 is kind of destabilized like that. It is kind of killing, right? But antibiotic when we place both of the antibiotic 1 and 2, what it does, it's a kind of, it's kind of level it off, right? So here what we can see, that antibiotic 1 is having, uh, it is it is uh, not killing much antibiotic, antibiotic 2 is killing antibiotic, but when you add both of them together, it is not even killing some certain number of antibiotics. So it's uh, the line we find is a kind of middle. So this kind of effect, it is telling us that when you use those two antibiotics together in combination, the activity of the antibiotic is decreased uh, in compared with when we use the sum of individual antibiotic activity. So in this case, combination action 
is reduced than the individual sum of antibiotic activity. So we call it antagonism, right? So these are the three conditions that we have talked about. One is additive, one is synergism, another one is the antagonism, right? That's what we can talk about the antibiotic therapy, combination therapy. In all this combination therapy, we can get it, right? Now, advantage of combination therapy is that we can get synergistic effect as well as we can have disadvantage because we can have antagonistic effect. Now, if we get additive effect, it is kind of neutral. So, it's not gaining anything, not losing anything but if we are uh, getting synergism we are gaining something if we get antagonism we are losing something so from looking at this graph we can say we can tell so it's a kind of uh, we can't be sure using antibiotics it's a kind of trial and error process we don't know whether two antibiotic combinations are going to work as a synergistic or as antagonistic we don't know we never know until and unless we treat them we use them right so it's a kind of trial and error process throughout the place right and the future video will be uh, talking about uh, the different advantages of this combination therapy and the examples and we'll be also talking about different disadvantages of this combination therapy and their uh, examples okay so that's it and i hope that's helpful thank you